Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the LT1117 Adjustable Low Dropout Linear Regulator. So we will see design and simulation in LT Spice. Okay, I will explain how this circuit works, how how a output voltage can be adjusted by using by using or by altering the value of resistance R2 and R3 and I will run the simulation and I will show you the the behavior of this circuit okay the output of this circuit while your input voltage is 5 volt what is the output of this circuit okay so I will explain the design step for LT1117 adjustable uh, LDO okay so in some manufacturer says lm triple one seven some manufacturer says lt triple one seven okay you can see here i have taken the load of pulsating load which which the current value is 100 milliampere to 600 milliampere right right so before explaining the design and simulation of lt triple one seven in lt spice i want to show you the the data sheet of lm1117 okay so if you go through the data sheet of lmr lt1117 you will have more understanding about how you will design the voltage regulator okay so let me show you the data sheet so here you can see i have taken the part lm1117 which is 800 milliampere low dropout linear regulator which i took from the texas instrument right so you can see here uh, it is available in the fix fix output voltage that means you can generate 1.8 volt 2.5 volt 3.3 volt and 5 volt and it is also available in adjustable version so for today's design you can see i have designed by using adjustable voltage regulator okay so the it has current limiting and thermal protection it is available in sot 20 and vson package maximum output current is 800 milliampere you can see here the line regulation is very good 0.2 percent load regulation is very good is 0.4 percent and temperature ranges uh, let's say if you choose lm 1117 it 0 degree to 125 degree and if you choose lm 1117 i you can have minus 40 degree to 125 degree okay so if you see here at the maximum load current what this voltage regulator can give is 800 milliampere so at maximum voltage voltage maximum current at 800 milliampere you have the dropout voltage is 1.2 volt that means whatever whatever output voltage you want to generate at the maximum load condition your input should be at least v out plus 1.2 volt so okay so you can see here you can adjust the resistance value and you can get the output voltage right so if you see the adjustable output regulator design here you can see here they have given the formula v out equals to 1.25 into 1 plus r2 divided by r14 so by changing the value of this r2 altering the value of r2 you can adjust your output voltage okay so this is formula you can use to adjust the output voltage right if you go more in detail you can find the package you can find here the package different different package available and you can find the absolute maximum rating which is maximum input voltage up to 20 volt okay and you can see junction temperature storage temperature okay right and you can then have look of electrical characteristic here you can go and you can read this data sheet thoroughly right so let me go back in our 
lt spice file okay so at the end i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share the link in the description section so you may download this file and you can play with this file okay so let us start this circuit let us understand this circuit okay so here you can see here is a fixed 5 volt dc voltage which is input voltage and i have tried to generate 3.3 volt at output voltage okay. so as you know the formula how will you generate the v output voltage v out equals to 1.25 times 1 plus r2 divided by r1 so since i wanted to generate 3.3 volt i have chosen the resistance value r3 equals to 203 ohm and the resistance value r2 equals to 121 ohm okay then i have chosen the c1 is 10 micro farad right and here instead of any resistive load i use the pulsating current which which changes from 100 milliampere to 600 milliampere okay so hope you understand the the components and the circuit for lm triple one seven adjustable voltage linear voltage regulator okay how will you how will you adjust the output voltage by changing by altering the value of r2 and r3 and more or less you have to alter the value of r3 and r2 will be fixed now let me run the transient analysis so i will go at this run button and i will run the transient analysis and let me show you the output so let me first show you the input voltage and here you can see clearly this is 5 volt and let me show you now the output voltage so as you can see this output voltage is around 3.3 volt which which is having some ripple voltage which goes to 3.4 and here in the case of 3.3 so it is an, having 100 millivolt of ripple by adjusting the value of c1 and c2 you can get rid of this ripple voltage okay so this is the output voltage which is coming 3.3 volt and let me show you the the current or uh, the load the load value what your lm triple one seven is delivering so you can see you have pulsating load which start from 100 milliampere and it goes to 600 milliampere okay so if you at 100 milliampere your output is 3.3 volt and your 600 milliampere your output is 3.3 volt that means you have the step changes of your current or your load value starting from 100 milliampere to 600 milliampere even then even then your output your output voltage is fixed which is 3.3 volt if you neglect the ripple what i have shown here that 100 millivolt ripple here this is ripple voltage okay so this is 3.3 volt now let me show you how this how you can change the output voltage so let me change this resistance value to 1k let's say not 1k let me change the resistance value to 180 right so let me run the simulation and i will show you now the output voltage now the output voltage is 3.14 if you change the resistance value to 121 ohm let us see how the output voltage is if your resistance value is 121 ohm your output voltage is 2.5 volt so if you want to generate 2.5 volt output you have to have this resistance value r2 and r3 both are equal that is 120 ohm and 120 ohm let us let us go back the original value 203 here 203 ohm and you can see now again your output voltage is 3.3 volt okay your output voltage is 3.3 volt right so hope you understand